10 tips for bounty hunters in this video, including some test results and tricks. First tip, you would rather play as a collector instead. Just kidding. Real first tip, you have to deliver bandits alive. And yes, game tells you this information pretty much anywhere, but I decided to test this out. So I have finished same bounty hunter mission on a same second, but on one case I delivered dead bandit and the other time I delivered this bandit alive. For dead bandit you not only gonna get less money, but also less bounty hunter experience. Experience. But whether your target is dead or alive doesn't affect the amount of gold that you gonna get. Just like in many other activities in this game, the amount of gold that you gonna get for completing the mission is only affected by the time that you spend on doing this mission. So my second tip is wait till the last seconds on the timer to deliver the bandit. Don't finish too fast. By completing these missions too fast, you not only gonna get less gold, but also much less bounty hunter experience and money. I guess most people knew about these first tips because they are really simple, but they are really important also, so I had to remind you about them. To deliver our target alive, we have to tie him up, at least before we gonna get the wagon. And here is my next tip, you have to buy and use reinforced lasso, it costs 350 dollars but almost doubles up the time that it takes for an NPC to untie himself. It took 44.4 seconds with reinforced lasso and only 25.5 seconds with a regular lasso. Next tip, you can hit your target few times to knock him out before tying up with the lasso. The bandit won't start this untying process while he is unconscious, but be careful, don't kill him occasionally. And don't forget to rob him and steal all his money. Not because you need them, but because it's a part of police job. At least in my country it is. Also don't forget to hit the bandit while you ride into a police department. That won't only shut them up, but also won't let them untie and run away. Tip number 5. You can use painted black to mark your targets with bolo and that's how you gonna tie them up from the distance. But after that don't forget to run to your target and tie it up with regular or reinforced lasso, because in 15 seconds he will untie himself and you gonna lose your bola forever. It costs 30 dollars by the way. And they are available only on Bounty Hunter level 10. So if you don't have bola, here is a little trick for you. If you're riding after some bandit and you just can't reach him and there will be missions with these mechanics, you can use any weapon, mark his horse legs and shoot. Then he's gonna drop off the horse and you will tie him up easily. It's a cruel but effective way. Tip number 6. If you're gonna drop the bandit close to the police station or sheriff office, he won't be able to untie himself up. By the way, you can deliver your targets to any sheriff or police office station. For example, I delivered legendary bounty the Wolfman to the Valentine and that's how I avoided one wolf spot. On level 10 bounty hunters can purchase special wagon to deliver multiple bandits at the same time. It's expensive but kinda useful. But there is a way to deliver few bandits at the same time without it, if you don't have level or money. You should place one bandit on your horse and second bandit on another horse. You can pretty much always get this horse from bandits. And then you gonna ride this other horse that it it's not yours and time after time call your horse to you. That's how you will be able to deliver two bandits at the same time. Ok, tip number 9. When you hunt in legendary bounties or even regular ones, stack as many healing abilities as you can. I've been talking about this in my legendary bounty builds video and I'm gonna repeat it here. 
more healing abilities you have the easier it will be for you to make bounty hunter missions especially when you play in solo so set up like quiet and inspiration strange medicine is cold blooded is a good choice for pve and last tip is how to do tricks with your revolvers it's just because i've been asked this question many times take a weapon to your hand press lb twice fast and then push R, B. It's R1 on PlayStation. Then you're gonna have to press one of the buttons like X, Y or something like this. That's how you perform weapon tricks and I'm pretty sure that I shouldn't have made this part of the video in English. I guess it sounds awful but on the other hand it could be that all video sounds awful. Anyway I hope you enjoyed this video and found something interesting and some stuff you did no, I really hope so. Thank you for watching, guys. See ya. Goodbye.